Emily, when we step off of this rug today, our forever together begins. Forevermore, my dedication is to you. My loyalty to you is second only to God. And as he is my guide and my witness, standing here today, I will never abandon the vows that I make here. No person, no circumstance, no crisis, no sickness will ever interfere with my vow of faithfulness, love, and support to you. Just as the sun rises each morning and God's love is steadfast to us, as he is my witness, my love and my choice to you, my choice to love you will remain steady every single day that I live. speechless. How do you find the right words to say when you're standing in front of the man that the Lord made for you? How do you find the perfect words to describe the way that you love that man? Each time I've tried to write these, I find myself asking thousands of questions and also asking for the perfect words. But what I've come to find out is that there will never be a perfect word for this. front of God, friends, and family. Man, oh man, am I happy for this day, not only because after 24 long years since I was three of wanting a sister, I have gained not one, but two, um, but because I know that Jesus has ordained this marriage based off of your beautiful love story and y'all's trust in him over the many years. Meeting at age 17, dating, breaking up, moving very far apart, rebuilding a friendship, rebuilding a relationship, a year-long engagement, and 2020. And now finally you're here at marriage. You've made it to this day.
there is no reason, honestly, that me and Emily should be together. Um, there's so much that happened from the beginning of our story until now. Um, but, I mean, isn't that just God, you know? Like, he's in the business of giving people who deserve certain things and not giving them those things. And, uh, and he's in the business of giving undeserving people beautiful things.